Congratulations, Rana Unati. You got yourself a date. You got yourself a cow. I step up from the car and I see, oh, okay. And the body language is telling me another thing. So there was a bit of confusion in my mind. Then I'm like, okay, let's see. <laughs> when he stepped out of the car, I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, what am I going to discuss at that dinner? And I have to be very polite. So what's the one thing that really made you think, okay, this is the one I'm going for? There was that thing, you know, it just happened when I just get in your place. So I'm like, oh. She's the one. This is the family, like, you know, there was this connection we just happened anonymously. Okay. Yeah. You look beautiful. Sorry? Say you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. You look beautiful. You look amazing. Thank you so much. It's like you've been created by an architect. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. No, that's perfect. You want something to drink? Um, yes, what please. Do have? Passion fruit and lemonade. Passion fruit and lemonade. Yeah. Oh, do you mind if I can take a beer, please? Enjoy Whatever. yourself. Ah, oh, thank you. I'll do that. In that respect, hence he asked for permission to drink his beer. I come from a very strict um, family background mm -hmm. and who's more into um, Seventh-day Adventist religion. So because there are certain things that we don't do in my religion that um, if you don't mind then moving to our religion, it would mean that you'll have to give up, i.e. You drink right there to start off with. Are you prepared to do that? Drinking to me, I'm not like an addict to drinking. Mm. I'm not addicted and it's easy for me to stop drinking because I don't drink every day. Okay. Yeah. Quitting alcohol and quitting whatever smoking and other stuff for love. I won't mind doing that and I'm ready to do that if the person is ready to understand my kids as well and to love me the way I am. So what can stop me from quitting this thing, this material thing like alcohol and cigarettes? Would you not feel intimidated or feel less of a man dating somebody who's more financially stable than you? Uh, to me, financial stable is something which can fluctuate and change. I can be financially stable now, but tomorrow I'll be stable. Him and I, we're not aligned. With my four kids, with four different mothers, so that's what, what you expect in your life, like, is that what you need, like, right now to meet someone with the way I am. Exceptional how I look or what I do, because I love my babies. Are you accepting me with the trailer which I have? Or is that what you're looking for? And this way again, in Dabayake, no baby mama back here. I buy four, I buy different. Four is quite a... Quite a lot, yeah. It's, it's quite a lot. Yeah. It's quite a lot, and from what I've heard from different people, sometimes it comes with a lot of drama. Do I want that in my life? I don't like drama. I don't like that type of drama in my life. So it's, it's, not, it's not something that I want to be part of. So I think our plans, they, they, they're not aligned at mm. the moment, you know? Um, where we are at in life, both of us um, are two opposite ends. So I think you should continue finding yourself and finding that one woman who's going to take on all of what you're saying. There's, there's somebody out there for you who's going to have plans that are aligned to you, you know, mm -hmm. who's going to have the passion and the drive that you have. But um, unfortunately, in this case, I'm not that woman. I think she's bully, naturally. It's one of your body language, she's a bully. 